Hey guys, your inner chakra. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. I'm about to do all signs with the angel deck. You're just gonna get one message for all signs, starting with Kathy, ending with Sag. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. Place yourself. Don't forget to check your moon right, rising and Venus signs. All right. Holy Spirit, for the sign of Capricorn, what do you need to know, right? For the month of April. This is going to be for April. All signs, April. One card, direct message from the angels for Capricorn. What you get, Kathy? I'm taking each card in the upright. Kathy, the Emperor, Archangel Uriel. It's time for stability and efficiency. You need to take charge of a situation and you need to be very ambitious. You need to have very ambitious plans. So you're on to something. You're trying to find stability. You're trying to be efficient in your life. But you need to take charge of a situation, right? You're the emperor. You need to stand in, stand up. You do have some ambitious plans. You just have to get to work, Capricorn, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for the sign of Aquarius. For the month of April. Ooh, Aquarius, they like you. You get two. Two of Pentacles. It's important to have balance, Aquarius. You could be working multiple jobs or projects at once. But Spirit said, try to find balance and try to make fun of this. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to balance, just try to have some fun with it. And then you also have four swords. You need to spend some time apart. You could be stressed a little bit. Uh, could be healing a heart. So you need to take time. You need more sleep or time off from work, which over here, Spirit is saying you're working a lot, but multiple jobs, different projects, and this and that. So you need to try to find this balance. Insights come from quiet and meditation. So you need to meditate a little bit. Find more sleep. Take some time off, right? And seek relief from this stress, Aquarius. You're working too hard, baby. You're working too hard. Pisces, what's going on in the month of April? Holy Spirit for Pisces. Pisces, what messages do you have for Pisces? Ooh, what messages? Like Pisces, you're the magician. Archangel Raziel. You can manifest the life you want, Pisces, right now. What you need will magically appear and you will have successful beginnings. So Pisces, you have everything you need. You can be moving things around, shifting things around. So if you want it, Pisces, you can have it. Now is the time in the month of April. If there's something that you want, Pisces, you can do it in the month of April. You the magician, right? Best to go get it, Pisces. Holy Spirit for the sign of Aries. Angel messages for the sign of Aries for April. Holy Spirit for April. Guys, this is just a quick reading. Messages from the angels. April. For Aries, change your life, Aries. Pisces, I mean, Aries, you're going to get a sudden revelation, right? That's going to offer you some freedom. It's time for you to break free of procrastination, like quit bullshitting. Uh, embrace the opportunities that change brings. So something's coming your way to where you can change your life, Aries, but you got to be in it to win it, right? Something's going to be revealed to you, and it's going to offer you an out. It's going to offer you freedom, right? Holy Spirit. For the sign of Taurus, month of April. Messages from your angels. For Taurus, what's going on? Month of April. You need to seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. And be aware of your own emotions. But you're definitely not happy where you are. You could be thinking a lot. But spirit wants you to find that magic spark again, Taurus. You know, find it again, get happy again. Holy Spirit for Gemini, let's take it. Three of Cups. Oh, Gemini, you have reasons to celebrate, either with the community, friends, with love. You're going to be receiving some happy announcements regarding relationships or children. 
So the good thing to pop it for you looks like love is coming your way in the month of April. If it hasn't already come to you. But you'll definitely be celebrating with family and friends. Holy Spirit, for the sign of Cap for the for the sign of Cancer. Cancer for April. What's going on, baby? Seven of Wands. Stand up for what you believe in, Cancer. Have confidence and claim your personal power. Yep. Don't let these frustrations get you down, Cancer. Do what you need to do. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. Holy Spirit for Leo in the month of April. Leo, you got a lot. You must have a lot of shit going on in your life. You're not getting all those cards. No, no, no. You're not special. Holy Spirit for Leo. What's going on? Empress. You're coming in as the Empress. It's time for you to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. You could be receiving luxurious or abundant resources in the month of April. So money may be coming in for you. Your creativity is rewarded. So keep doing what you're doing. People are noticing you. So keep doing that. Holy Spirit for Virgo. Month of April. Angel messages. Virgo. We have Ten of Swords. You will have an ending in the month of April. And you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. So put the past behind you. So Virgo, you may be having endings this month. Woo, 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 woo. Holy Spirit. For Libra. Any angel messages for a sign of Libra? Libra, two of swords. You need to make a decision. Your angels are saying it would just be better if you just make a decision because you're overanalyzing a problem. And you need to find compromise. Right? You need to find compromise, Libra. You're overanalyzing something, baby. Let it go. <laughs> holy Spirit, holy angels, for the sign of Scorpio. Messages, messages. One message from the angels, Scorpio. You're your knight of wands energy. Very confident, enthusiastic, courageous, and charismatic. It's time for you to take action. Great passion for a cause. You know you're passionate about something. And instinctively, you know what you need to do. So Scorpio, do what you need to do. Because you already know what you need to do. Last but not least, Sagittarius. What are you pulling up, Sag? Okay. Sag, I'm jumping out the deck. You too have the Knight of Wands. You're very confident and enthusiastic, courageous, and charismatic. It's time to take action. You instinctively know what you need to do. So Scorpio and Sag, y'all on the same page. Y'all know what y'all need to do. This is great passion for a cause. You know what you need to do. It's busy work, right? Busy work. All right, guys. This is all signs. We only have one sign where there's an ending, and that was Virgo. But we did have another sign where it was time to let go, and I can't remember who it was. So maybe those two signs date each other, but I can't remember who it was. <laughs> All right, guys, these are angel messages. Don't forget, you can flip these energies. You can change these energies, right? You can change these energies, especially if you can see it coming. And if you don't want that ending, then curve some shit, right? Fix some things, right? Um, if you're out there working hard, your creativity, people are going to notice you for it. So keep working hard. Keep doing what you're doing. For the ones that received a message saying that you know exactly what you need to do, you, you're, you're straddling the fence. You're straddling the fence when you know damn well you need to do this, as opposed to that, get off the fence. If it was razor wire, your ass wouldn't be up there, right? But no, you're standing on the fence how we used to do as kids, and you got one leg over one side, one leg over the other, because it's just one of those regular fence. That was if, if that was razor wire, you would make a choice. You would either jump this, or you're going to split yourself down the middle, right? So make your decisions, guys. Do what you got to do. Spirit said so. I am going to give you all an angel message since we're here. Right? May as well. So I can find it. Hold up. I'll give you an angel message. Ooh, look at that. My hand went right to it. Let me give you some angel messages along with these. Holy Spirit, for the collective, all signs, any angel messages. 
Any angry messages, angry numbers. We got one, zero, 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 guys. Encourages you to look to new beginnings and the start of a new cycle or phase in your life with optimism, enthusiasm. These new opportunities will bring you much happiness and fulfillment as it will see you in a position to use your personal skills and talents to your advantage. So guys, use your own personal skills and talent. Do what comes naturally to you, right? Whatever is easy for you, those are your talents. It's not something that you got to go practice, practice, practice. I mean, yes, some things like say you was a drummer and you played when you were six and you're just naturally good at it. But then your dad or your mom put you in classes and now you're like, whoo, you're just like, what's that guy's name? Courtney's husband. I can't think of his name right now. Travis Barker, right? He, he's, he's magical. So it's like, let's say Travis started at six with the little bitty thing. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and his dad was like, oh, wow. It's all about that, right? It's all about that. So he took classes. So guys, maybe you need to take a class or something to work on your skills, but do that. Then we have number 11. Commonly thought to represent the two lovers coming together as the soul, soul, energy of twin flame, love. You should pay attention to how the number 11 comes to you as it could indicate that your twin flame or at least twin flame energy is currently in your life. So guys, let's say somebody's in your life right now. Say you're dating somebody and you think Tom, Dick, and Harry over there is your twin flame, but it's probably already with you. So whenever you see the number 11, 111, 1111, 1111, see where you're at, who you're with, and what you're doing, right? It'll come to you. You'll be surprised. You'll be very surprised. Holy Spirit, any more messages? All right, we have 150. Guys, I'm going to do four. 150 is a message from your angels that the life changes you are considering or currently experiencing are the right one for you to make as they will bring you closer to your authentic self and your true soul purpose. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is coming up. Trust that this movement will usher in positive new energy. One more spirit. Angels, one more. Ooh, look at that. Six two zero. Six two zero encourages you to be kind, diplomatic, and cooperative with everyone in your life in order to set a positive example and to make things run harmoniously. Any obstacles, hindrances, or misunderstandings will find positive resolution. When things are out of balance, find a quiet place and be still within yourself as this will help to balance and quiet your center, enabling you to freely give and receive love. So basically, guys, right here, your angels are telling you, stop being so pissy. Yes, they pissed you off, but is it enough to where you can't forgive them? Is it enough to where you can't get past it? Is it enough? It's like, okay, so you had a disagreement. So F and what? Y'all still lovers. Y'all still friends. Y'all still cousins. You're still family. Get over it, right? You don't want to lose that love. You don't want to lose that friendship. Like, people have disagreements all the time. That doesn't mean it's over, right? It just means go to your quiet corners, then come the fuck back together. Sorry, spirit. I'm a work in progress. Yes. Yes. Spirit, keep his hands on me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.